Sí. Prime time talk, we the champs in the zone, east coast to west, every throne known and shown, the box and undiased truth in every puff piece, power pound kings, the talks never see, check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast, KOs rewind and every punch lands last, jabs like poetry, hooks like history, uncover the mystery, every fight a victory, check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast, KOs rewind and every punch lands last, jabs like poetry, hooks like history, uncover the mystery, every fight Fight a victory. Prime time, prime grind, every rhyme so refined. True to the sport, no bias, we shine. Fist up in the ring, our voices do sing. From 9 to 90 at night, we the boxing king. East to west, coast to coast, prime time the most. Raising every toast, talk so smooth, flow with venom. Truth in the rhythm, no biased algorithm. Analysts breaking down round a glorious round Unbiased coverage making the sound profound Fighter profiles every style compiled Games by strategy casuals beat beguiled Prime time prime grind every rhyme so refined True to the sport no bias we shine Fist up in the ring our voices do sing From 9 to 90 at night we the boxing king Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we, man? How about that fight, man? How about that fight? I'm talking about that Regis Pro Grace versus that Jack Catterall. Man, oh man, it didn't go as what a lot of people thought it would go as. Even me, to be honest with you, you know, I kind of gave my boy Regis Pro Grace the benefit of the doubt. You know, even when a lot of people was doubting, a lot of people was pulling for him to win. But let's go ahead and jump on into this fight. All right, so first round, hey, these guys, two South Pauls fighting each other in a ring in Manchester. You already know it was high stakes. It was pretty much career versus career. Either you were going to win and go on to some more bigger fights and maybe get back into a championship contention fight again or either you were going to take a loss and take a back seat back into your career again to relook and reimagine and refigure out what is your next best move well let me tell you look this fight was very competitive in the fifth round though you know that's when Jack Catterall's glove hit the mat. Your boy Regis Prograce hit him in the neck with a good neck shot. And hit his chin a little bit. Caught him off balance because they're both southpaws. So you know when they're banging and swinging a lot of times, they're hitting each other the same way they would hit each other if they were swinging at each other in a mirror. So it was a lot of mirror tactics in this fight. And what, the ninth round? That's where Jack Catterall got his get back. Hit my man, Regis Prograce, with a straight right hand and made him fall back. Uh, and that is when the tides turn, my folks. Because, you know, not only was he dropped in the night, he was dropped again later on towards the end of the fight. And that is what gave Jack Catterall the win, y'all. Yes, yes, Jack Catterall won. He won, and they gave him a unanimous decision in this win. I don't know if it was unanimous, but he did, later on in the stretch, look a lot more fresher than a Regis Progress. And, you know, that is one of the things, you know, um, before I get into that, you know, I wanted to talk about uh, what Regis Progress said at the end of the fight that really shocked me the most. You know, he said that, hey, you know, this might be his last time. He might end up fighting in the the UFC, uh, the, the bare knuckle fighting championship. I'm like, what? Like, man, you ain't do that bad, man. Come on, man. You know? But I get it, you know what I'm saying? Three losses on your record. But I still feel as though in 140, Regis Progress is a good fight for someone um, to test if they're ready to go to the next level, they're ready to fight for a championship. I feel as though he is a good fight for any fighter to step up and work on the things he needs to work on. And um, yes, yeah, so I don't see him going to a bare knuckle 
um, fighting joint. I still it feel as though he's valuable in boxing. I don't think he needs to run away from boxing. Um, but uh, what I really wanted to talk to y'all guys is, you know, not just this fight, because congratulations to Jack Catterall on his victory. Um, he definitely showed grit and determination, which, you know, we already knew Jack Catterall had that. Um, only thing I would say is, is both fighters definitely need to work on their footwork. Their footwork could have really saved Regis Progress or it could have excelled Jack Catterall to win it more decisively. You understand? Um, I think both of those fighters footwork was not as good as it need to be. And I feel as though they need a good eight week, two, three month camp just on footwork, to be honest with you. That's just being real, you know, because I think footwork development saves a fighter and helps fighters pivot out of the way of shots to where a lot of times they don't have to do a lot of moving and sliding and flat foot walking back and forth. Um, luckily, both fighters was kind of flat footed that night. And um, yeah, Jack Catterall just seems like his, honestly, his conditioning was better going to the further end of this fight. Um, I don't know if Regis might have overtrained. You know, a lot of times that happens with fighters when you get too excited about a fight and you got anxiety about a fight and going over across seas to a fight. You are going to probably overtrain, you know, unless you have a championship quality team around you that knows how to vet the fighter and to make sure that the fighter doesn't overtrain and hurt himself prior to the fight. I don't know if Regis had any injuries or anything that he don't want to disclose or whatever. Hey, I don't know. Didn't hear anything. But um, I will say this much. It was a great fight for Jack Catterall to win. It really was. It was a, a great fight for him to win. I think Regis did all he can do. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe just maybe Regis is right. Maybe this is his time to step away from the fight. Um, actually, reason why I'm doing this video is partially because of what comments Devin Haney made after the fight. And Devin Haney, man, oh man, did he go in, man. Well, you know, first of all, he chose Regis Progress to win the fight. But then, I guess Regis did an interview, said something about Devin, and then that just made Devin just flip, you know? So, hey, I gotta keep it 100 with y'all. Everything that I'm posting now and talking about, Devin Haney said after Regis Progress said whatever he said. So, don't, you know, shoot the messenger. Don't be, you know, oh, you're always with Devin No, look. <laughs> Actually, Devin Haney was in the right this time because he actually, and I got the proof, he actually was like, yo, I picked, you know, pick Regis to win. But then a few days later, he see Regis talking, you know, like, oh, Devin had the softest hands, I ever fought, pillow, all this and that. So Devin showed a picture, posted a picture of Regis Progress fate face after their fight and he said oh that look is hold on let me see <laughs> yo he is tripping man he basically was saying like shoot uh pillows mark your face up like that <laughs> oh yeah 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 um yeah this is what chris manick said you know uh pro grace who would likely end his boxing career after a loss to Jack Catterall took on all comers, won two titles, and was regularly in entertaining fights. Wouldn't mind seeing him in Bare Knuckle Fight Club. <laughs> Devin replied, said, he don't have a chin. Bare Knuckle fights aren't for him. He needs to become an amateur boxing coach. USA Boxing. Ooh, I don't know if that was a jab or a real deal thing right there, you know? <laughs> yeah, and Devin Haney comment and said, shoot, I beat, I beat him worse than Catterall. Regis just bitter. <laughs> uh, then Devin posted, I ruined Regis. <laughs> he said he ruined the boy. <laughs> uh, and 
And then uh, he posted, sometimes you change your mind, it happens. <laughs> you know, basically he must be replying to somebody saying, you, you chose him to win. <laughs> uh, and then I also posted, never Never mind, he worried about me too much. He gonna lose, I'm with my pops. I got Catterall. Dang. Cause Devin had, I'm picking Regis this weekend, you know, two days prior to that fight. So, boy, boy, boy. Mm, mm, mm. And this is, you know, the joint he was saying, Devin was like, uh, Regis progress on being knocked down by Devin Haney. It was crazy because the softest puncher I've ever fought put me down. <laughs> uh, and Devin said, and got your face looking like this. Guess pillows do hurt. <laughs> That's the one. That's that one right there, y'all. This guy said, and got your face looking like this. Guess pillows do hurt. Cause... Remember on the Jefferson when Weezy was hitting George Jefferson with a pillow, knocked him over the bed? <laughs> Oh, man, these guys is tripping. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's how it go, you know, in the sport of boxing. But, like I said, congratulations to Catterall. I feel as though Regis needs to keep on fighting, at least a couple more fights, get a couple more bikes, checks, and roll up out of there like a Rolex flex. You know, that's all. Ain't nothing big about it, you know. Ain't nothing bad about it. He's a good fighter. He's a good KG fighter. He's a good test for any fighter that feels as though they're ready for a championship contention. So, anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm until next time. It's primetime.